When you bring a medical malpractice lawsuit and it goes all the way to trial, do you have to be in court for opening arguments? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The answer is, yes, you do. You do need to be in court. Now, you might be thinking, I can't do it. I I'm, have a job. I can't take off of work. I have no way to get there. And you know what? That may all be true. But remember this. If you are now asking a jury, six members of the community, to make a decision about whether you are slightly more likely right than wrong than what you are claiming is true, and ultimately you want the jury to evaluate the extent of your injuries and to give you money as a form of compensation, what do you think it's going to mean to the jury if you are not in court watching these proceedings? What do you think is going to go through their mind if you are not there? I'll tell you what's going to go through their mind. They're going to wonder, where are you? Are you physically incapable of coming into court? Are you disabled and is that why you cannot come into court? Or is it that you just don't want to come into court or that it's inconvenient? The problem is it will raise so many more questions and no matter what explanation I can give to the jury, it's not going to satisfy them unless you are physically disabled and physically incapable of coming into court. So for example, let's say you are in the intensive care unit, right? and now you are hooked up to all of these tubes and machines and monitors and there's no possible way we can get you disconnected to come into court to testify or even to observe. In that instance it's totally understandable and we can give the jury a detailed explanation about the fact that you are still in the hospital, still in the intensive care unit, trying to recuperate from all of the injuries you suffered because of the carelessness of this doctor. So now we have a valid explanation about why you are not in court. But other than that you need to be in court because this is your lawsuit and you are asking the jury to give you money and give you a verdict in your favor. And if you are not there, the jury will question, why aren't you here? Why aren't you paying attention and listening to this case? The jury has to disrupt their entire lives to go ahead and sit in judgment on your case. So now the jurors have had to disrupt their lives so that they can come and listen and decide whether or not your claim is true. And they're going to be wondering, why aren't you here? Do you not care about the outcome of this case? Do you not care about the testimony that goes into this case? Do you not care about any of it? If they find that that's true, guess what? They'll have no incentive to side with you. They'll have no incentive to reach a verdict in your favor because they'll think you just don't care. And if you don't care, why should the jury care? So in every single case that comes up for trial, the question is, do I have to be there during opening arguments? The answer is, you most certainly do. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in these medical malpractice cases in New York. You know, I do understand you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.